Hey there, and welcome back to our channel, K9 Heroes. In today's video, we'll be exploring the fascinating world of search and rescue dogs and how they go from adorable puppies to life-saving professionals. We'll delve into the various stages and techniques used to train these amazing dogs, from early socialization to advanced skills, and the importance of teamwork between the dog and their handler. So, if you're ready to be inspired by these incredible canine heroes, grab a snack, sit back, and let's get started. Number 1. Selecting a Suitable Breed and Puppy While many breeds can be trained for search and rescue, some breeds excel in this field due to their physical abilities, temperament, and work ethic. Common SAR breeds include German Shepherds, Labrador Retrievers, Belgian Malinois, Border Collies, and Golden Retrievers. When selecting a puppy, it is essential to choose one with a strong drive, an eagerness to learn, and a confident and sociable personality. Number 2. Early Socialization and Basic Obedience The foundation for a successful SAR dog begins with early socialization and basic obedience training. Exposing the puppy to various environments, surfaces, and situations will help them become confident and adaptable. Basic obedience skills such as sit, stay, come, and heal are crucial for a well-behaved working dog. Number 3. Introduction to Scent Detection SAR dogs rely on their keen sense of smell to locate missing persons or objects. Introducing scent detection early in the training process allows puppies to become familiar with the concept of using their nose to find specific scents. Start by playing games that involve hiding treats or scented toys and encouraging the puppy to find them. Gradually increase the difficulty and complexity of the hiding spots, and incorporate the use of specific scents relevant to SAR work. Number 4. Building Drive and Motivation Drive and motivation are essential characteristics of a successful SAR dog. To build these traits, use positive reinforcement techniques and maintain a high level of enthusiasm during training sessions. Incorporate play, treats, and praise to keep the dog engaged and motivated. Establishing a strong work ethic in your dog will facilitate their success in more advanced training. Number 5. Training in Specific Search Techniques As the dog matures and masters the basic scent detection skills, it is time to introduce specific search techniques used in SAR missions. These may include, first, area search. The dog is trained to search a designated area for human scent, either in the air or on the ground. Second, trailing. The dog follows the scent trail left by a specific individual, using a scent article from the missing person. Third, human remains detection, HRD. The dog is trained to detect the scent of deceased humans, aiding in the recovery of remains. Fourth, avalanche search. The dog is trained to locate victims buried under snow in avalanche-prone areas. Number 6. Developing Advanced Skills and Problem Solving As the SAR dog progresses in their training, they will need to develop advanced skills and learn to problem-solve independently. Training should involve various scenarios, such as searching through debris, navigating difficult terrain, and working in different weather conditions. These exercises will help the dog adapt to various environments and learn to overcome challenges they may face in real-life search and rescue missions. Number 7. Handler and Canine Teamwork A strong bond between the handler and the SAR dog is crucial for effective teamwork. Handlers should participate actively in the training process and develop clear communication with their canine partners. This includes learning to read the dog's body language and signals, understanding the dog's strengths and weaknesses, and reinforcing the dog's trust in the handler. Regular training together will ensure that the handler and dog are in sync during high-pressure situations. Number 8. Certification and Continued Training Before a SAR dog can participate in actual search and rescue missions, they must undergo certification through recognized organizations, such as the National Association for Search and Rescue NASR, or the American Rescue Dog Association ARDA. Certification involves rigorous testing of the dog's skills and abilities in realistic scenarios. Even after certification, continued training is essential for maintaining and refining the SAR dog's skills. Regular practice, attending workshops, and participating in simulated search and rescue scenarios will ensure that the dog remains sharp and ready for action. 
Wow, what an incredible journey these search and rescue dogs go through to become the heroes they are today. We hope you enjoyed learning about the training process and gained a deeper appreciation for the dedication and hard work these dogs and their handlers put in to save lives. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things canine heroes. We'd also love to hear your thoughts or experiences with search and rescue dogs, so drop a comment below and share your stories.